So, welcome back, and this is uh, the second ship that Metal Rain decided to come and show me tonight. This one's called the Pacifica. It's his capital ship. You can see it is the same sort of design as all the ships that he's come to, bro to bring me, which I love. I love that people have the, find their own sort of style. This reminds me of the um, colony designs that you actually see in Gundam, which I'm always going on about. <laughs> um, even though I know it is a ship, the, these things coming off and then the cylindrical design makes it quite quite similar, even though I know it's a ship. But anyway, that's just my personal sort of take on it. Um, looking inside here, he's put a lot of detail in with some wedges. He's using even more colors and the uh, <clears throat> crystal ice crystal to great effect as well I think that that there looks awesome it's really nice I uh, can't wait to see it fire but let's just take a little bit of a look around here so it looks like the dorsal fins are actually uh, got turrets you can have four on the top there four on the bottom and it looks like is there another two or just one one on the tip so that's eight, eight, oh, and there's more here as well. I love it. It's all consistent, all nice and tied up. There's no funny edges. Uh, and like I say, loads of room for turrets here. Uh, loads of room for turrets here. So yeah, he's figured that part out. Stick those turrets on there. And it's considerably longer than the last one too. Right, I'm just going to see if I can get a couple of sort of wide angle shots. Just look at that beast. What an absolute beast. That's really nice. That's worked. That works, mate. Well done. That's the best ship I've, you've shown me so far. Right, so let's take a look inside. So I take it here we have uh, one of the doors he's left open for me. So behind us, we're going to have, oh, here we go, <laughs> here he is, so it looks like we've got ship core, faction block, and a permission block, which I guess would be for a weapons computer, and, and then there's power running right the way down, <laughs> very clever. Yeah, very nice, very nice. And then I like this corridor as well. It's got loads of rooms. Let's just check out the, one of these rooms. I bet they're all the same. Yeah, nice. Nice, really well lit as well. Because of the size of the window. It's beautiful. All the way down. Right. Let's just whip up the end here. And we've got a weapons computer. What's this? Room for stuff. Let's go and speak to him. Where is he? Where is he? Ah, oh, he's down here. Ah. Okay, let's follow him. So this is the computer room for the weapons. And then as we come down here, this is the docking bay. As we go through. What have we got here? More space for customization. So yeah, let's uh, see see what it, how it does against the uh, against the ballistics. Right, so here we are. We've got the ballistics gel. We're going to do the same run through as usual. The first fire will be one click. The second will be a second, and then the third will be full fire until we get to the core. The uh, water gel block is 
or the water block is 200 long and uh, this ship is the Pacifica built by Mel Rain 300 so let's get on with it okay nice so it's got a wider spread I think let's see if it's actually longer it doesn't look longer one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. No, it's not as long, but it's more consistent. So I wonder how that's going to do with a second of fire. Okay. So a second of fire. It doesn't seem to be as powerful as the last one, but mm, we'll see seem to be as powerful as the last one. It's very interesting. Okay, so yeah. That's the pattern from one second. It's still powerful. It is definitely powerful. Some ships can't even do seven blocks deep with uh, a second of fire. So that's good. So let's just pan out a little bit here and uh, get it lined up for the, the core shot. There we go. So he's going to aim for the core and he's just going to fire. If the server gets too laggy, I've started telling people that if they see the game lag, to just stop firing. And as soon as they see their FPS count go back up, start firing again. Because it uh, takes less time that way. But uh, as you can see, this does seem to be penetrating deeper than the last one. I think the pattern might be hollow. Interesting, I'm going to find out. Yeah, this is penetrating much faster than the last one. Oh. Oh. I think he's going to get it. be the core overheating so let's just take a quick look at that then so the strange thing about this particular pan is it was actually getting wider this is something we don't normally see it was actually getting wider towards the end which enabled it to travel a straight line easier see in a diagonal you end up having to make a much wider corridor for the shot to get through and what this weapon has done is it's, it's fanned out as it's going along, allowing the shots to get down the centre, which is an interesting concept, if you ask me. No, I'm going to so I'm going to ask him what his pattern, is, what the layout for his guns is, because I reckon it could be an interesting one. So yeah, well done, and uh, we're going to move on to Bobby's. So here we are, level one, my green trigger version three versus Pacifica, Bobby fight. I'm going to turn the AI on. So we've got it selected. Start ship AI minus one. Go. And they're off. I'm going to try and stay close to him. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> this is just to see the loot just pop out of his backside. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that ripped him a new one. Less damage, but killed it quicker. Interesting. Okay, so level two. So now he gets to fight the version eight. So Pacifica version versus version 8 and I'm going to get under his wing and start the AI go what I'm dead okay so the thing killed me <laughs> even though I must have when I reset I think god mode must have reset so I had to put that back on again and uh, 
thing killed me. It knew what was best. Kill the master first. You gotta watch out for those machines, man. Right, okay, so uh, destroy entity. There's no, no damage on this one, really. So let's have a look at the uh, Pacifica and see what's happened here. So it looks like it took a pretty big hit to the front. Yeah. It happens. 